welcome back to another video and for the first time I'm going to be showing you one of my pets this is my hamster Freddy he is. I'll give him the food right here let me get him so this is actually my second hamster before Freddy my first hamster was, well, the same breed of hamster, but he looked more golden and stuff. I still miss that one. So, I was so sad about losing my hamster, and I just felt kind of lonely about a hamster. I got this one. And you see, nobody wanted this one. Because, well... People thought he had kind of like, I don't know, an, like, an illness or something. So he was like kind of big at the store, like right here. And when we saw him in the store, he had these kind of like right here. And I felt really bad with the hamster, so I decided to take him in. As you can see, he's out of his wheel right now. He usually likes going over here, but this time with the video, he just wants to do his wheel. Come on, we'll let you touch your food right here. Come on, hamster. Come on, Freddy. Show everybody what it looks like when you stuff your food. It looks so funny. He already stuffed the banana tree we gave him. So as you notice, he's inside this little um, place right here. This is what I do to play with him so it doesn't pee on my rug or anything. Come on. Look, you love sunflower seeds. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna stuff everything. And by the way, his sunflower seeds are okay. They came from his food, his normal food. Some kind of formula thing they made for hamsters. So it's perfectly fine. We give him a mixed diet of different kinds of food, so he can be nice and healthy hamster. Hello there, Freddy. So by the way, if you hear some noises or some meows, those are my two cats out right now. Don't worry, the door's close to my room, so the cats won't get the hamster. Well, one of my cats probably is just going to sniff the hamster, then go, okay, never mind. My other cat probably will try to, you know. So, we want to make sure that the hamster stays safe and nothing hurts him. Oh, Freddy, what are you doing now? He usually does that when he's going to room or take some food out of his cheek pouches. I just love this little hamster. I think he's already about a year old. My old hamster lived for, well, you won't believe this, but four years. And I know their lifespan is usually two to three, but my first hamster lived for an amazing long time there. Lived for four years before. Well, he died in peace in his home. And I'm still sad about it. I wish I could have showed you my old hamster. My old hamster's name was Humphrey. If you know those books, the according to Humphrey series, yes, that's who I named. That's who, how I named. That's those books. You know the hamster in those books. That's who I named my first hamster after. Because I loved those books. So I was like, I like the name Humphrey. So why not name that hamster Humphrey? Now, so how do I name this one here, Freddy? I forgot what those books were called, but it features a hamster named Freddy. Um, those golden hamster books about a hamster named Freddy. If you know what I'm talking about, that's who I named this one after. I'm just going to keep on finding hamster books named the hamsters after those. So, this hamster, yes, as you can see, he's kind of shy. People kept on returning him to the store, so he can get pretty upset at times. The first time I brought him home, he was super shy, and I have some old videos of that still. He would flinch a lot when I opened the door. He would be kind of panicking at times. 
And we tried our best to calm him down and stuff. Oh, oh no, no, no. Don't drop down there, Freddy. Freddy? <laughs> He's kind of naughty, too. Now that he is comfortable with us, he can get kind of naughty. But before, he was really, um... Well, he was frightened a lot. So we tried our best to make him comfortable. In the end, he got to know us well. And now he realizes that we're not going to return to the store anytime soon, right, Freddy? We're just too adorable to return to the store. And then, actually one of the employees were about to take him because nobody wanted the poor hamster. But hey, we won the hamster. And I thought he would be the perfect hamster. And he is. Look at him. He's just so cute. I know, I know. All hamsters are cute. But just look how cute this one is. Look at that. Oh, you like the camera? So for now, I'm going to sometimes record some videos of Freddy doing stuff and having fun. I'm going to do plenty of activities with this hamster. Maybe some games, some fun stuff. And I'll record it so you can see. And before the day comes, I'll be sure to give Freddy the good life that Humphrey also had. <sighs> He's pretty naughty now, though, so... There we go. Oh, Freddy, you know you cannot go on my rug. You can pee on there. Is he actually gonna do it? He, oh, he does that something. He'll just jump down from somewhere and then... Yeah, there he is. <sighs> Wait a moment. Okay, I put him back in. He's just so naughty. Sorry about that. He went somewhere around me, but I got him. I got, like most gold hamsters, he's pretty slow and docile and really sweet, so. But since he was frightened, unlike Humphrey, uh. Like, something that happened while I had Humphrey was, like, for the first time, when we put him in the hamster ball, Humphrey actually got out because the door opened by itself accidentally, but all Humphrey did was st just stand there. He was such a good hamster. Freddy, on the other hand, I bet he would have just ran straight out. Straight out and who knows where. And I'm really scared about that because if he goes and... Well, you see, when he's out in his hamster ball going around the house, they have the cats in their room. That way, they won't bother the poor hamster and frighten him. Because we want the hamster to live a good long life like Humphrey. Maybe even four years again. You know four years is really rare for a hamster. In order to do that, we have to make sure that he doesn't get all stressed out over the cats. But I'm af what I'm afraid of is the hamster won't think before going under the door to the cat's room and yeah who knows what will happen so in order to make sure that the door does not open up like that again we tape it and then when we're done we just take the tape off and he's okay <laughs> hello there He's pretty active right now. I think he just wants to be recorded. Look at that. You're going to be starting a YouTube video, Freddy. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Okay, there. I uh, have to keep on doing this. Way. I'm, just, I'm just making sure Freddy doesn't go out. I don't want him going near the cat's room or anything. Actually, my cats are out right now. Did I mention that? So, he does not want to go under my bedroom door. That happened with Humphrey once. He just got out of his ball and fortunately instead of going to the door he went to the back of my room and I found him under my desk. It was I was just so lucky to find him just standing there under my desk and not going near the door or going under it or anything. Well Humphrey was kind of big for his size. I don't think he would have been able to squeeze through the door but still uh, one of my cats could have Oh no, who knows what? Stuck their paw under the door and maybe um hurt him. So I was really relieved to find Humphrey safe and sound and uh, never took my chances with another hamster ball.
Maybe I should show you what Humphrey looked like. I still have that. I still have that photo of him in my room. Uh, sorry, Freddy. He still gets frames sometimes. That's him. That was Humphrey, my first hamster. My best friend for quite a while. I'm always going to miss him. I just, I don't know. It was a really sad day when he died. He died, he just, he just was at the end of his life. He, he, he went to his house and slept and he just died in peace. And I'm happy we gave him a good life while he was still alive. I did so many fun things with him. And I have so many old videos of him. On my, on my 3DS, just... Having fun, doing things. Now he's gone, but I'm just happy that I gave him a good life. You know, four years was a, four years is a long time for a hamster. And even though I'll always miss him, hope he's in peace right now. But, well, I'll always remember my ham my old hamster, yes. And there are still new hamsters to take care of and give a good life to. And that's what I'm doing with my little Freddy here, who is fortunately alive and well right now. About a year old, as I was guessing his age. He seems pretty young, healthy, really nice. He's not very stress stressed out and frightened anymore now that we're taking good care of him. And we gave him a good home. Oh, Freddy. I'm gonna bite the cardboard again. That's, that's okay for them. The cardboard, they're made for the hamsters chewing on. Unlike my cats, he won't eat anything he knows that's not food. One of my cats, on the other hand, yeah, big problem. We're trying to teach the cats just to not eat anything and are just making sure that we pick up all the small objects in the house. Just make sure of that. Freddy here, on the other hand, knows that cardboard is not for eating, fortunately. He would chew on it, maybe some of it would get in his mouth, but he would spit it out. I've been observing him doing this, so it's perfectly fine. And that's how I know. Of course, we don't have any cardboard in his cage, in case. We just have it out here when he, we take him out and stuff. <laughs> what are you doing, Freddy? He's trying to move it somewhere, or is he, is he going under? Oh my, Freddy. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, Freddy? Let me, help, let me help you here. I don't want him to get crushed. Freddy, what were you doing? Are you trying to get yourself crushed? Freddy? I think it's time for him to go back into his cage for now. I'll sh I'll go back to his cage and I'll show you his home. Here it is, Freddy's home. Now, I know it looked kind of cramped, but there was no other cages that were as big as this. And we got this originally for Humphrey, who was definitely a big hamster and all that. We have a wheel right here, some chew toys. We change often. You know, hamsters get bored with their toys and stuff. We have water filled. The bowl should be filled too. He's trying to burrow over there. I had a secret underground entrance to his little home right over there. So when I had Humphrey, the wheel was on this side and the house was over here instead. And you see, Mom was worried that Freddy was since that hamster died here, and yes, that was a possibility. And that Freddy would feel uncomfortable because Humphrey died on this very spot right here. Where his house used to be at. So we switched things around, and Freddy seems to be doing pretty fine. As you can see, there's a lot of bedding over here. That's Freddy just messing around with his bedding. There's supposed to be more on this side, but sometimes Freddy just like messes things up a little bit. But I guess it's good for him over here. He does like better going in this little area and like going here. Now, unlike Humphrey, he was very bold and brave and stuff. He will definitely flinch sometimes if you. Try to touch him and he doesn't see anything. Well, Humphrey was still a lot more easygoing than Freddy. So we are really careful with him to make sure we don't stress him out or anything. 
There he goes. And that's all for the video today. I hope you enjoyed watching my cute little hamster do his thing. My second hamster. And I do hope he lives a long life, just like how Humphrey did. If you want to see more videos, just like and subscribe. And if you're subscribed, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And I hope you love both of my hamsters. Even though Humphrey's long gone, you can still see him right here. And yes, I'll definitely be uploading more videos on Freddy. So, you can enjoy his little life being the star of the show for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all. Bye!